always fun to to see where we can go with the science. You know, there's always the there's the uh, the balance of blending. You know, where where I, I can start with an idea, and you know, I get I get asked a lot, like, how does one become a, a distiller, let alone a, a master distiller? It's because you have to mess up 99 times before that hundredth time uh, works. You know, and you were you were talking about that when you were listening to those riffs like 90, can, 99 yeah. times, and then you hear it a, a different relate, way. We can relate to that as songwriters. I right. Mean, on a good, you know, in a in a good song is 99 times before you know you end up <laughs> before it's, finding that magic, and sometimes it, it I mean it just goes months and months. But it's um, but sometimes you also if it's the opposite, you just hit it right away. You never know when you throw yourself out into that process. Yeah. But that's kind of the the fun part of it, and the magic is you know is the unknown, and so you just take these steps forward. But it, it is ultimately, I think, another thing that we share is that it's about trusting your instinct. Right. And so, you know, people go like, oh, how do you write a song or how do you do this or whatever? It's like, how do you know when a song is written? How do you know when an album is done? It's like, ultimately, it's just about trusting your instinct. And sometimes I like to kind of break it down to people and say, well, another way of looking at, say, making a record or a creative process is all you're doing is just making thousands of decisions. You're going, here's a riff. Do I like it? Yes, that's a decision. Should it be faster? No, that's another decision. Should it be slower? Yes, that's a third decision, which is what you're doing right. when you're doing that. And that's another thing that I think that, that, that we share. And, it's a similarity. And trying not to go down the Fibonacci spiral in, exactly. into nothingness <laughs> while, you're, while you're doing it. And trying to, trying and, to really find that, that, that place where um, you can coexist. You know, I think and find, you know, where you find that song. Where, where does it end? The, the same thing with the whiskey. I could keep layering and keep layering um, flavor profile if I'm blending and, you know, and I'm doing a cask finish. When you're cask finishing, you're taking the whiskey, you're putting it into a used barrel of some sort. We use brandy barrels. That, that cask finish, I, I let the whiskey tell me when it's ready mm. because that's when I'll taste it, you know, every, you know, once it's in there finishing, I'm tasting it, you know, a couple times a week. Uh, there's so much chaos around when you're trying to identify what that song is and you've, you've made a decision and made a decision and a decision. The same thing happens with whiskey. You know, if you make a blend, well, you can't unblend it. You know, you've already made that blend, so you got to start over again. It's like, okay, well, that didn't work. <laughs> I had an idea, didn't work, we're yeah. going to move that over here. Now I got this idea, well, what, what if I adjust it just a little bit this way and I start over and like, okay, we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, you know, Kirk uh, will map out a song or, or Rob. They have their own language. Yeah, well, we have all got our own language, right. and it's, it, it doesn't matter. You know, we don't know how to read music, so we write our own, and right. we we make our own language as far as the notes go too. And it's interesting, yeah. Starting a whole batch over, yeah, you can't uh, unspin something or whatever. Or take out the oh, I shouldn't have put in that little something or something. Yeah. And same with songs too. I mean, we'll take a song that will um, we think uh, isn't so great. And all of a sudden, you've added some little thing, and right. it's like, whoa, that just changed the whole song, the perspective of it, or something too. And and then again too, you know, the, there is like the production side of it, you know, the sure. fancy side of right. here's oh, we're just going to add this and this and this. You put all these things together, and it's going to be great. It's too much. Sometimes there's too much flavor, or there's too much of a thing, right. and it covers up. The, the core of why you liked the riff in the first, in the first place. place. Yeah. yeah, it's just, it's so all layered it's, in there. And yeah. Yeah.